do you think? Is this a good week for the Labour Party? No, it's a, it's a terrible week for the Labour Party. I mean, they're, they're crowing, crowing about this 11-point lead in the polls. They should be, they should be about 40 points ahead. We've, we're in the middle of a cost-of-living crisis. We've got inflation going through the roof. We've got uh, you know, absolute economic disaster going on. This, this being stewarded by the, by the Conservative Party can be, can be laid squarely at the Conservatives' feet. Uh, this isn't like the financial crash in, in 2007. Uh, I think this is, this is absolutely absolutely ridiculous. We've got the, the outgoing leader of the, the Tories who's been proven to be a you know, serial liar, adulterer, completely you know, flip-flopping on yeah, policy. Yeah, we need that. Not we need that. He's now a laughing stock. Uh, and now we've got the Tories fighting over who's going who's gonna to replace him. So the, the la Labour should be, should be soaring high. And I, I think if there was a snap election, I don't think Labour would, would even get close to, to winning. Mm. Calvin? I hope there's not a snap election. Uh, you, you're right on so many points. We've had six years of turbulence. We've had Brexit. We've had the COVID pandemic. We've got a cost of living crisis. The, the government have been in power essentially since 2010. You know, of course, they had the coalition. But they should be way, way down in the polls. Labour should be kicking their backsides and they're not. Labour aren't doing anything. We need, a, well, we need a strong opposition. We need someone to take hold of the Labour Party and say what they stand for and who they stand for. They used to be the party of the working classes. They're no longer that. I don't think they know what their identity mm. or their ideology is anymore, so neither do the people. Hence, you know, people borrowed Boris or lent Boris Johnson their votes in the last election, mainly because of Brexit. But those people, they may or may not vote for the Conservatives again, but I don't think a lot of them will return to Labour, so their votes are up for grabs. Mm. Uh, someone needs to stand up and say, look, we are the party for the British people. Mm. Mm, perhaps we need to set up our own party. Let's do it. It, it, party. it needs to be called something good, though, not like, you know, <laughs> like the common sense party. But that's a silly name sort of thing. You need something that stands out, that sounds great. Because I have to admit that this should have been a good week for the Labour Party. Mm. But I think it's a bad week for them because they've kept Keir Starmer, who I don't think he has integrity and is honest. First of all, for Beergate, which to me looked exactly like many of the party gates, uh, he wouldn't have said anything had he not been caught on video. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to lie whether Angela Arena was or wasn't there. Why would you lie about that? Why don't you just say she was there? Then he said it was an impromptu gathering when it wasn't. There was a memo. Then he said that they stayed at work afterwards. And in the memo, there was nothing mentioning that. So it was just a nonsense thing that he would then try and say things like that, that doesn't make him look honest to me. And then there's the whole uh, police crime and commissioner thing, which I think is dubious. And then remember the by-elections where they, they didn't make any announcements until afterwards? I, I, I'm not buying that he's honest and integrity and everything else. I think they're all pretty bad, actually. But even if he is, like this week, and I, I work in politics, but I haven't seen him. The mm. last time I remember seeing him is looking very weak in camp. He had, like, glitter on his face and stuff, going around with Angela Rayner at Pride. I haven't seen him. You know, he should be denouncing the Tories for backstabbing Boris Johnson or he should be denouncing Boris Johnson for being immoral. He should be all over the media mm. yeah. saying, look, we are the better option. Where is he? Well, yeah. he should come on to GB News. Well, I don't know why he hasn't. Well, people, people vote for strength. They want a leader to be strong. And whether they actually agree with all the policies down to the nitty-gritty detail is, is beside the point in a lot of cases. A lot of people voted for Thatcher because she was strong. Keir Starmer doesn't even know what a woman is. So uh, how's, he, uh, yes. how's he going to know any, any other uh, political position? Well, that's... He's, he's focus grouping everything he says. He's, he's working out. And you, you shouldn't have to, like, you know, try and tease out what you should be saying. Yeah. Don't say what you should be saying. Yeah. Say what you truly believe in your core. Yeah. I think the problem with Keir Starmer is he considers his words so carefully that he ends up actually saying nothing at all. Yeah. And that is a problem there, because he's not said anything. And even a lot of them have been invited on to GB News, and a lot of them are refusing to come on. You know, some of the Labour politicians, more and more are coming on. But why wouldn't you come on? I, you yeah. know, I want to hear, you know, are, are you afraid to be questioned? Yeah. We want to know. And GB, and GB News viewers are exactly the people that exactly. Keir Starmer should be trying to win over. Exactly. Why, you know, I, I would like him to come on to this show. Keir, listen, if you're watching now, come on to my show, tell us what you're about. We want to know because we want a strong opposition against the Conservative Party because they're not really offering much at the moment. And I suspect GB News viewers would be interested in what they have to say. Yeah. I'm interested. I want to know what they have to say, what yeah. they've got to offer. And it's in the country's best interest. Mm of a strong opposition. I don't think Boris would have got, got away with all his shenanigans if we'd had a strong opposition holding him to account.
Well, I mean, you it's know... It's a greatest shame. You know, we've had a Conservative government which has been... with an 80-strong majority, which has been a dream of mine for so long, but they haven't accomplished anything. They haven't mm. done anything. Because they've had no opposition holding them to account. Mm. They've become complacent. And this is why we've got all this sleaze and scandal, because they're just enjoying themselves. Mm. Well, no, but I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think they have been their own worst enemy. And in that, I don't just mean Boris. I mean them voting repeatedly against him for things and them deciding to create themselves as the opposition because they haven't had a decent opposition. Yeah. And then squabbling between themselves and... Is it, they, they just, I mean, and if you look at it, over six years, we've had three different leaders. We're on to our fourth. This is the same party. I actually think there should be a rule that when you're in power, you're not allowed to change the leader a certain number of times mm. because it's instability and it's very short-termism, which means that we, the British public, will suffer. But there's no win to that. The, the solution there would be that we'd have to hold a general election every time they change leader, mm. which means we'd just have even more general elections. I, I don't know... Well, I don't think they should be allowed to do that, though. I think there, should, there needs to be some sort of... You can't say you can't resign, can you? No, no, but there needs to... Well, within a, I think something like you have to serve three-quarters or something, there has to be something... But then somebody could be absolutely appalling and do terrible things. Yeah. Well, that, well, that's how it works, though, isn't it? You get that within three. At least we need to see what they can do. I mean, I don't think Boris has been on there long enough. I think we've had pandemics, we've had all sorts of nonsense.